Hello! Welcome back for more Hogwarts Legacy once again. We're gonna get straight into it today. I know at the end of last episode there was a lot of people sending me things to do. So, let's decide... Oh, never mind. Now I remember. We left off getting ready to go find Deke's friend in some cave or something like that. I don't know. So... We're gonna do that one. Just because that's what I said I was gonna do anyway, so you know, might as well. And of course... Of course we're using High Wing, because why would we not? Okay, we're just gonna coast down. There are some bad things, literally, like, right underneath it. Oh, that's a spider web. Ooh, ugh. we're not even that far into the episode yet, and there's spiders. Gonna go down here in the creepy little forest again. This must be Tom's Apparently, I'm not gonna be able to avoid <laughs> these. Where to go? Okay. Yay! Done. I am getting so fed up of the dang spiders in this game. Yay! <laughs> okay, this is not promising. There's literally like six signs already just about spiders. So that's good. That's really good. Lumis. Do I have to go in here? Can I just... Can I just leave Deke's friend? Incendio. Lumis. No wizards. Um... I don't know if I should be in here and just- <laughs> There's a curled up one. Oh my gosh, I'm breaking everything. Tobbs, you missed your quota by three files? You know what that means? It means my loyal customers will be missing their bottles of semen shrinking solution. Because of your foolish mistake, you will be given no food for a week. I also expect you to punish yourself accordingly. When I return to the next shipment, I'd best see bloodied bandages instead of your usual idiotic grin. If you do not meet your next quota plus five extra files, you will lose more than your food privileges. Uh oh. This monster is awful. Well, yeah, he makes them sit down here in spiders. I hate spiders so much. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? 100% the spiders are gonna crawl out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, yippee. There's more, I think. I think there's more. 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 Oh my god, I hate this so much. <laughs> okay, I don't know where to go. What way is like the main way? Let's try this way. Oh my. Oh my god, okay, my skin is crawling! Ah! Just get away. Get oh my god, I made it tiny! Can I do that to all of them? Please? I really don't enjoy that music. I feel like I'm gonna turn around and one's gonna be like stalking towards me. This is probably gonna be a huge one, huh? Oh, it stopped. Okay, we're good. Whew. Oh, we he might not be good, good, Tom but. Here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Where? How do I keep managing to go the way I'm supposed to go? What is this? <gasps> no, no way. There's no way. What what do these people have with spiders? No, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. This is this I'm not gonna be able to survive this. Oh 
It literally crawled right there. It's crawling there. I apologize to everyone watching this. If you also hate spiders and if you just... And also, if you just hate having to watch me struggle. <laughs> oh. Okay, disappear now, please, so I can go open the chest. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Okay. I think this crawled up right in front of me. Where's the other one? Right there. Is there any more? Not yet. Okay. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Something is looking at me. I think he went weird. Uh. Oh my god. I'm terrified. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it through this, y'all. When they first give you the option when you start the game to turn off the spiders or whatever, I was like, oh no, it's probably fine, whatever. No. No, 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 no. I should have known better. I should have known. Should have known. I'll pretend I'm not scared, I promise. It's a lie. You're definitely gonna know I'm scared, but you know, it's whatever. Oh my god. You would never catch me making it through this game like a year ago. Like a year ago, I'd have been like, uh-uh, count me out. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna slide down and it's gonna be like, spite on your face. Okay, 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 we got this. Just The faster we get down there, the faster we can get it over with. In the heck? Who can do what spider can do that? Are we done? Did I do it? Was that the big one? Or was that still not the big one? Uh, okay, Master, if you're looking for Tobbs, it seems he has dried up all the leeches here and must move deeper into the cave. Tobbs hopes Master will wait for him to return. It's much too dangerous for Master to follow, and please be careful of the spiders, Tobbs. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. No. And this music is telling me that wasn't the big one. <laughs> I really hope this is entertaining for you guys. I really do. Because this is not fun. This is... Oh, it just crawled through my face. <sighs> this is one of the worst things in a game that I have ever experienced. I can say that wholeheartedly. This looks like a place I'm going to have to fight things. Okay. Oh my god. That wasn't the big one. That was definitely not the big one. Get, I'm stuck. 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 What? Get 
off of me! Get off of me, get off of me, get off of me, get off of me! God, I can't. <gasps> no. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't do it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, I can do it. Uh, okay, 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 get me out of here. Okay, okay, it's fine, we're good. We're like halfway there. Where did it go? I'm gonna just have to- okay. Where did it go? Like, I'm confused. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so the big one just like dug into the ground and didn't come back. So I'm confused to say the least. But I'm gonna take it as a win, even though it probably just did that and it's gonna pop back up again. So... Oh no. I have a feeling that myself <gasps> is torn. Stop! Stop! Master, if you find Tob's body, the big spider was too much. Tob's has failed you and deserves his punishment. Tob's feels weak, sleepy. Tob must... <laughs> Tob's... Left here alone with the spiders. <sighs> Are you kidding? This game is brutal. He's just... I'm gonna have to go... <laughs> I have to go tell Deke this happened. Y'all... Okay, well the music started getting a little freaky again, so... The table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Yay! So that means I can go back, right? I'm done? Yippee. Okay. Well, that was- I feel like I had to do that for nothing. That was unfortunate and sad. And just all around a bad time. <laughs> okay prepare ourselves <laughs> I'm back from the cave Deke wonderful uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs 
I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my! Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Oh. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master. When he died, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. Oh. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right. Of course, Deke. That was so sad. Let's see the next quest we should do. Oh? Okay, well, I think it's only fitting we have to go see Sebastian, you know, so... He apparently is gonna teach us a... a funky little curse. <laughs> there he is. You're here. Brilliant. Hi. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. Oh, boy. Yeah. I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. This is a bad is idea. Sebastian, I feel like you're setting me up. As usual, actually. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly <sighs> speaking, it has. We were caught. <laughs> Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny, but... What is that? Ooh. Lumos. Wow. Isn't that Lily just in here? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeesh. There he is. Oh. Good luck. Okay, well, this is probably gonna go really bad, but... What are you doing here? Um, Sebastian made me. Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't oh. tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about our house founder and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd mm -hmm. heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. Oh. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. That's spooky. That is a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin, and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. 
I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. Oh? <laughs> I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. Hold on. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian, over here. Hold These on. braziers grant Almost. access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically Guys, begged. Guys, can you just be? It wasn't you who wait told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with three. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, ominous. What's going on? Why are you guys arguing? Incendio. Oh, hold on. My bad. And then there's a third one here. That crazy went out on its own. I wonder if it's a clue. So you're saying something's happening. Duh, the whole hope door's we're opening. Ready for this. I'm not, but I'm going anyway. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorites. <laughs> Get it? No comment. <laughs> Come on, that was a good one. I agree, Sebastian. That was pretty good. I thought it was funny, I guess. Okay, well, I didn't expect this quest to go this way. Like ooh, 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 ooh. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I have written to my brother. He now knows how I access the corridor's entrance and that there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. A journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. <laughs> I'm like, what? You knew? And didn't tell me? Um... Ominous, the journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. Uh-huh. Repair him. There may be something to this pile of rubble. The rubble formed a relief from the person <laughs> facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. What? You hear a voice? How come- The uh -huh. voice is ancient. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. What? I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Huh? Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I wish all Slytherins could talk to snakes. You might I not don't. want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping um... you're having second thoughts. <laughs> Believe me, I am having thoughts. But I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, oh, and yet here I, feel I am. Bad. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. Honestly, me either. <sighs> it worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Sorry, Sebastian. Between the two of us. I... Never mind. <laughs> Sebastian, <laughs> trying to expose me. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Oh. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. <gasps> the door we came from, Whoa. it closed, and there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Oh no. Hold on, I need my light. Lumos. Well, this is the only open one, so I guess... Brazier. When the door closed, it lit up. Oh, a note. Salazar Slytherin buried the scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I'm a descendant, and yet I feel unwelcome. Lighting these braziers in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through. This journal entry... 
Dial requires focus. Oh. Uh, not to set the same. It may take practice to solve. Oh. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Oh my goodness. Incendio. I didn't expect to get jump scared. Sheesh. Yeah, there are symbols on the door. What? I can't. What the heck is the. The lighting is doing me dirty. Oh, it's like crossed out, that's why. What is this one? Okay. Oh! So I'm assuming this one is that. So it's the circle thingy and a snake. Another gate. Circle Seems thingy. Like play games. Must run in the family. Snake. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Look at her, Sebastian. Got one. Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to okay. do that myself. But you got to it first. <laughs> nice work. Uh-huh. Sure, nice. Sebastian, sure. Ooh. It is still all whispery. What is this? Hold on. Incendio. Whoa, I broke something. Three or five. I failed to dial and it struck my face as if it were a real serpent, but I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. The scriptorium must have proof that there's more to our legacy than meets the eye. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did, and she was my favorite person in the world for it. What is this? What is this one for? Oh no. This is looking rather dire. Hold on. It? No, it's not. I'm just dumb. You sound surprised. Are you in a maze designed by Salazar Slytherin? Don't mind me. I'm just dumb. It's okay, guys. Don't worry. Oh, John is dumb. <laughs> okay, so what is the impressive. other one for? Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Four or five. Extraordinary. This journey is painful but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder. Salazar Slytherin intended more than what we've become. I know it. Not your references right. painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All ah. I heard was rewards. Keep going. Hold on, guys. I gotta go back here. Hold on. I am not gonna make the mistake of forgetting again. Fishy thing in a mountain. <laughs> Fishy thing in a mountain. Fishy thing in a mountain. As usual, I just got a little ahead of myself. Fishy thing in a mountain. I just unlocked Excellent it before work. we even got to it. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. I'm coming. Don't leave me, guys. Let's go. I spotted something ahead. Um, it looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. We've got more to solve ahead. I know. Search I was looking corridor. for secrets. It may not be obvious which leads where. Uh oh. Don't tell me that I just got locked in here. The gate. I think oh. we're locked in. They're with us again. <sighs> then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Oh, five of five. Oh no, I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon who, whom to do so. Salazar Slytherin create a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I'd invited him here. Now if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish he had parted on better terms. Ominous, a skeleton, and Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here. Blocked by an unforgivable curse. This what? is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. 
But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. Oh no. Sebastian? Don't tell me you're gonna curse you one of us. You know what to do. Tortured faces on the door and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? Um, what? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work oh, your magic, man. so to speak. This is a nightmare. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous, I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. Oh no. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable <laughs> curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. Oh no. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Sebastian. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous. As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. Dude, be for real. It's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast this on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. Oh my god oh my god okay they're they wouldn't let me die right that because i want to learn it but i don't want to cast it on him i don't i don't think i could cast on anyone okay nope we're gonna learn it but i i can't cast I it on him learn the curse but i won't cast it on you you need to cast it on me i shan't forget this <laughs> me either <laughs> it's gonna hurt <laughs> oh no okay Whoa. Almost messed that up. Haha, <laughs> this is gonna be great. Ready? No. I'm ready. He's gonna stop us. He's gonna jump in front, isn't he? Oh. Oh my god. but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar <laughs> Slytherin's scriptorium. <sighs> I can't believe we're here. Sebastian. <laughs> he just took me out and then went, we made it. <laughs> okay, what is this? Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. We have Slytherin spellbook? You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Yeah, hold on. I'll show you in a second. I want to find everything. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Buckle in, y'all. I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the calibre of student needed to be exceptional, but he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts on the matter, thoughts he had not yet put voice to. I tire of the discord and can no longer 
Oh my god. And can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views, a descendant willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wrought, one who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. Let me guess, guys. That's going to be Sebastian. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read <laughs> it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. He is it's gonna breathtaking. Use that for no good. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Believe me, dude, I don't think I ever want to do it again anyways. Ominous, you should probably come up here. There you go. Okay, whoof. Like, I am not about to leave him. Let's go. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. We bye guys. <laughs> Where are they at? Ominous. Oh, about your arms. How did they? Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. I'm okay Understood. with that. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Well, hold on. How have I never been in here? Oh, I can just bust in there. Ah. Ah, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. Next quest. <laughs> okay, let's move on and meet Natty in Lower Hog's Field. Scoop. Why are you running? Someone like Harlow looking for me. I can tell you that much. Natty. I'm here. You're here. Good. What's up? Is this Mr. Brickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Okay. What did you just squish? <laughs> My husband. Um, what will I do? Oh no. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. Of course he, he is. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? What? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie Satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. Okay. He never wanders far, but if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Then you stay, and I'll go. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. Clearly. <laughs> what reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. Uh oh. I begged him to leave it alone, but he. He was convinced that. <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? What you're gonna do is sit put. Stay right here. 
And we'll go do the, the hard work. Please do not worry, Mrs. Bikal. We will bring Achi home. Yep. I promise. However, no. I am going to break in here first. Oh. When Nettie, I took what? the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bikal. Okay. He has been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. So... I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. So... I... Mm, I mean, I have nothing to lose because they're already after me, right? But now they're definitely going to be after her. And I swear... What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? This game kills her. She thanked me, Ooh. but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. Is there like a little I spell? <laughs> oh, skirt. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Well, Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revenia. Yeah. Revenia maybe our only hope of finding out. She's Where? What? He went this way. Oh. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. Probably. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. So what many people have died in this game recently? I don't think I should be surprised anymore. Stuff happens. Uh oh. Wolves, prepare for a fight. Wow, I am struggling here. I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. A satchel! Archie's satchel! Why would he leave it behind? He was likely Open it. running from Hollow, distracted. Open it. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio. Archie went this way. Mm-hmm. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He oh would never boy. overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Well, how was there not multiple footprints to begin with if he was chasing him? Whoa. Whoa. Wait, 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 come back. Vestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? I you want can see one. Vestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Vestral shortly thereafter. I want I found one. comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. No! No, come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. You experienced something like no. that at so young an age. No! I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and <sighs> I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. You must miss him. Oh my god, did I get it? Oh! Let us keep moving. We must find Achi. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. Yeah, uh. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed. Come on, Nabby, I need your help. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, level up. Entering. This is huge. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. Me either. That complicates things a little. And this is all. He's just a child. Dead. Hold <laughs> well, on, we're just gonna go for it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no way. No way I just did that. Um, are you stuck? No, Natty! Oh my goodness. Okay, well I didn't slice anybody, but... Oh well. Oh, you're in the thing! Archie Bickle, how do you know who I am? Your mom. Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so happy. Not too loud, Archie. Oh. We need to get this open. Isn't it just... Yeah. Got it. Come on out. Hey. I'm Uncle Harlow. He killed my father. You did I'm see. I'm so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> okay. We save little Archie. Oh, Archie, you're here. <laughs> oh, oh, you're safe. He's been sitting here. Mother, oh mother. Father's friends are in danger. They're the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Ray, Mr. Filbert, and. I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. What if it's too late? Yes, mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger, just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. Well, he already is. <laughs> it may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again but... about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. Oh. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. Mm -hmm. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. You're welcome. <gasps> There's a demiguy statue here. Hold on. Where? Well, I haven't been in what your do house. A demiguys. <gasps> Where? Ramble. Oh my god. Oh my god, I see it. Mine now, demiguys. <laughs> Okay, how many demigod statues do I have now? Oh my gosh, I still have three more to find. Oh boy. I wonder if on the map, it will show me in the areas like this one does. There's one there. Okay. Oh my god. There is multiple side quests down here. Wand handles. <gasps> A demigod. I didn't even mean to find this one. Letter from Dermont to Beatrice. Beatrice, a week has passed and Arnold has yet to return. I must find him. Should he return before I do, blessed day. 
Both of you, wait here for me. Do not attempt to find me. How I hope that nothing has happened to our boy and that our fears concerning the beast affected by dark magic are as unwarranted as he claims. What did I just stumble onto? Father, I hope you find this letter and that you won't be cross with me when you do. I must go through this with Hunt. You and your... Um, you and mother require the food. I will return in a day or two, safe as always, with plenty of meat. Then you will see that these beasts are not possessed by dark magic, as you claim. Rest easy, I shall return, Arnold. Oh no. Why is this place not on the map? Oh, Hi! How I love good puzzle. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Oh. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. Mm? I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Okay. Where can I find this statue? It's not far from Irondale. It's down by the shore, near those old ruins. You can't miss it. Well, if I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Right. Well, first off, I'm getting this dang flu flame. What do you want? Absolutely shame. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I... I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Oh, no. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us. But I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. Um... What exactly was the family heirloom that the thief stole? A necklace belonged to the first of the Haggerty women. Hundreds of years old. So much history. She'll likely pawn it. Why would Catherine come back to rob the hamlet if she'd already left? Do I look like a criminal to you? He's sassy. She always despised this place. Resented having to grow up here. Perhaps she did it to spite us. Are you sure Catherine is the culprit? It could be anyone. Thanks to that Rookwood louse, we're inundated with all manner of criminal. I wanted to believe it was any one of them except Catherine. But she was the only one who knew where the heirloom was hidden, and she knew precisely which homes to rob. Hmm. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Besides, little the faith. thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. Oh, whatever. I should be going now. Thank you. It's literally nighttime right now, dude. I'll keep an eye on your belongings if I were you. Catherine will steal the eyebrows off your face, she will. Okay. Now it's night. I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty. Follow the trail of coins. What? I don't know how to how to do that. Well, if anyone in the comments can let me know how to do the torture of a uh, burning enemy, let me know. Cause every time I've tried, it didn't work. <laughs> so this is the longest dang money trail I've ever seen. Okay, are we almost done following these dang coins? <laughs> a niffler. 
It wasn't Catherine Haggerty after all. Oh, are you kidding? It was a Niffler. That must be the Haggerty family heirloom. I'm so. Where is it? Am I blind? Oh. I get it. Oh my gosh, I got it. Jeez Louise. I wonder how Mr. Haggerty will take this news. His sister wasn't the thief and Sheesh. Hi guys. Okay. Completed another side quest. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Nope. Actually, sir, the thief was a niffler. A, a what? You know, small, furry, <laughs> pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose, mangy little blighter. Well, hey. if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. I did. As a matter of fact, I did. Thank you. He's lucky I'm being you nice. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. Okay, well... What a strange world we live in. With that one done. Oh my god, they did not... <laughs> Anyways. With that one done, we are gonna call it here. Um... I recorded for a lot longer than I usually did today, so we didn't get to the main main quest, but that's fine. I'm assuming that one's going to take ages. So, yes, we're going to leave it here, and I hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, I feel like we accomplished some decent things, you know? Definitely, I think I've gotten ourselves into more trouble with Natty and Sebastian on that matter, but, you know. But yeah, I'll leave it here. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next week for more Hogwarts Legacy. Bye!